like it's officially move out day and the house is a flipping bed. From the fastest on the field to a gentle father and husband in real life, Michael Pittman Jr. will show us what life for an NFL player could be and what awaits him outside the gameplay with his family. In 2021, when Michael and his partner Keanu were awaiting the arrival of their baby, they also moved into a sleek, modern, new apartment, which they showed off in a video. But more on that in just a moment. Hey everyone, it's Kara, and if you want to see more of what I've been up to in my free time, be sure to check out my new DIY account, Fix It With Kara. I would love to connect with you all there. Born on October 5th, 1997 in the heart of Southern California, Michael Pittman Jr. was a football prodigy right from the get-go. His high school years were nothing short of spectacular as he spent his freshman year at Valencia High School before moving on to Oaks Christian for the remaining three. As a senior, Pittman unleashed a display of skill, capturing the attention of football enthusiasts far and wide. Imagine this, 81 receptions, a staggering 1,990 yards, and an impressive 24 touchdowns. These achievements earned him the well-deserved title of First Team All-America by both Parade and Max Preps. This solidified his status as a gridiron sensation. Pittman's journey continued to the University of Southern California, where he committed to polishing his skills at the collegiate level. In recent events, Michael's current team, the Colts, secured a significant 30-13 victory against the Pittsburgh Steelers, putting an end to an eight-game losing streak against Mike Tolman spanning 15 years. However, the Colts suffered two big setbacks, with Michael Pittman Jr.'s concussion and Zach Moss's injury, missing most of the contest after leaving the game and not returning. Now, let's talk about the love and home life of Michael. Michael proposed to his girlfriend, Kiana Gali in October 2020, and the couple runs a YouTube channel together called Michael and Kiana. Here, you can check out their daily lives. I mean, it is pretty common for public figures, including athletes, to share aspects of their personal lives with their audience via platforms like YouTube or social media. Creating content together can provide their fans with a glimpse into their relationship and the reality of their daily lives outside of their professional career. Now, how did the two meet? Well, during their ninth grade at Valencia, Kiana asked him to come over one day and when she wasn't looking, he snuck into her room and locked the door. He then pulled out a Build-A-Bear and wrote a note on her mirror asking her to be his girlfriend, only to realize he'd locked himself in her room. Well, years later, as their relationship would thrive through Pittman Jr.'s moves to Oaks Christian High School to USC and then to the Colts, they'd keep that bear and call it April, just to prove the love and the month they met. The batter eventually died, leaving it without a voice, a metaphor for the Michael Pittman Jr. she met before the touchdowns and fame. Now, they took their first steps into shared living at an apartment in USC, going through the challenges of a busy life. Kiana juggled two jobs and pursued her education while he dedicated his time to playing football. Despite the demands, they managed to save up for trips to Hawaii, Costa Rica, and other places. And as their bond deepened, conversations about starting a family started to unfold. Guided by his father's career as a roadmap, football emerged as a promising path to achieving Michael's dreams and aspirations. And in turn, he used it to achieve his family's dreams too. Finally, in 2021, the couple moved into a new apartment Apartment just in time to welcome their first baby. This sleek and modern pad appeared to have high ceilings, large windows with city views, and even a sprawling balcony. Their dog seemed to be right at home too. When Indianapolis Colts wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. is off the field, he's all about the cozy nursery he and his wife Kiana Pittman created for their daughter Mila. As you enter, you're immediately greeted by these adorable safari-themed wall decals. This sets the tone for the entire room and gives it a playful and adventurous vibe. They also have this incredible wall mural featuring some of the most iconic safari animals. Giraffes, elephants, lions. It's like their little one is on a safari right in their own room. Michael and Kiana wanted to create a space that stimulated imagination and curiosity. The colors and designs really make the room come alive. Now, this is Kiana's favorite corner, the reading nook. It has a cozy chair, some plush animal friends, and a collection of safari-themed books. It is the 
perfect spot for story time and bonding. The nursery room also has a handmade safari mobile, and each animal represents a different adventure waiting for our little explorer. Every nursery needs a functional and stylish changing station. Check out these safari themed storage baskets. They not only keep everything organized, but adds to the overall theme. And the changing pad cover with the little lion prints. I mean, it's all in the details. See the cute stuffed animals in the crib? It's like a mini safari right beside them while they sleep. The little one will definitely grow up with a love for reading and exploring the world, starting right in her safari sanctuary. Well everyone, that brings us to the end of our look at Michael Pittman Jr's home life. But before we go, answer this question for me. Do you think that the family should now build their own dream house for their growing family? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye. You know, um, I didn't have to pay bills and stuff like that before. You know, I'm 21 now, I'm in a league. Now it's like, oh, you gotta find a home. You know, um, you gotta find your vehicle to drive in, you know, from work um, to home each and every day. Um, you gotta find a place for your family to um, call home. And that was, that's pretty cool. Lamar Jackson might have captured the attention of the entire sporting world, but this Baltimore Ravens quarterback seems totally intent on keeping the public at a distance from his private life. Ever since his high school football days, this young man and his family have kept a relatively low profile, oftentimes declining interview attempts for both local and national media outlets. This 23-year-old former Heisman Trophy winner and current reigning undisputed MVP of the league rarely shares information about his private life, and that includes the details on his home located in Owing Mills, Baltimore County. As of right now, Lamar is currently in the middle of his $9.5 million four-year rookie deal with Baltimore. He received nearly $5 million in his signing bonus upon putting his name to ink, and then received roughly a further $2.38 million in annual salary for each year after. With that being the case, most estimates of his current net worth peg him to be sitting in the four to five million dollar range. What makes these figures so special isn't the money he's getting paid, but the production he's generating on the field while getting paid so considerably little. Last season, Lamar threw a league leading 36 touchdowns against only six interceptions, and he's amassed 4,333 total yards rushing. It's a second down and three. Jackson takes it himself. Look at him dart back and forth. Oh! He broke his ankles! Now he's got an entourage! And he's got a touchdown! But in the face of a worldwide pandemic, even talent like that finds itself doing much the same thing we're all doing right now, hunkering down at home and waiting everything out. While self-quarantining, Lamar has been passing the time by playing video games, working out, and posting funny video clips to his social media accounts, particularly ones that feature his good friend, Big Choppa. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with another house tour, this one taking a look at Baltimore Ravens quarterback and reigning NFL MVP, Lamar Jackson. Now, like I mentioned off the top, Lamar keeps the details about his private life, well, private. So while I do have some insider details to share with you about his home in Owings Mills, including a few pictures, I'm also going to spend some time today taking a look at what his quarantine life has been like to help provide a fuller picture for all of you. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Kelly Rowland and Robert De Niro and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Now we might as well kick this video off with what you guys have come to see, so let's take a look at Lamar Jackson's home in Owings Mills, Baltimore County, or at the very least, pictures of a home that's probably a lot like Jackson. Those pictures you're seeing on screen are actually images taken from the inside of the former Baltimore Star's home, Ray Lewis. Lewis lived in the exact same neighborhood as Jackson, and his home sold for $1.1 million back in 2013. When Jackson purchased his home in the same neighborhood about four or five years later, he paid $900,000, so this home should be comparable in design and size, but of course, they probably decorated it totally different. Property records show that Jackson's home was built in the 90s and belongs to a Florida-based LLC owned by Felicia Jones, Lamar's mother, and current business manager. I can go back to high school, you know, um, I sat out my 10th grade season um, due to my grades, lack like on my, my behalf, and she would tell me, you know, um, 
you gonna train like you plan. And I used to hate it. Like I used to catch attitude like I don't wanna train today, you know. But she gonna she still take me anyway. And when I get there, you know, it, it all get in my head, like, man, you here for a reason, just get better. So anytime I like I wanna say I doubt of myself, but when I wanna get lazy and don't wanna do stuff, she tell me like you gotta come, like, come on with it, cause it was your fault, you know, you didn't you wasn't able to play on this field this season, so you're gonna keep training each and every day until you back out there next year. So I owe it, I owe it all to her. After signing his rookie contract in 2018, the very first purchase that Jackson made was to buy this home for both himself and his entire family, including his mother and three younger brothers. Well, from the time we was younger, <laughs> I always knew That's he was crazy. special. I just didn't know how important it was from when we were outside playing to you jumping over my head in the backyard. I knew it was something special about you. Jackson has said in the past that he chose his mother to be his manager because no one knows him better than she does. He said, I didn't want to put my life in someone else's hands. I would rather put them into hers. And that's exactly what he did. By moving in with her, she's remained a part of his life 24-7. Now their home is only about 20 minutes away from the Ravens practice facility, and many different Ravens players live in this neighborhood. In fact, the entire area of Baltimore County is flooded with the city's NFL players living in Owen Mills and neighboring areas due to the close proximity to where they train. Moving on to the details of this place, the exterior of the home reportedly features a pool as well as a three-car garage. Meanwhile, on the inside of this 5,000 square foot home are wooden floors, a first floor master bedroom suite with an attached sitting room, multiple walk-in closets, and a massive kitchen featuring state-of-the-art appliances and a large kitchen island. If these pictures are anything to go by, then Lamar will also have an epic-sized living room to collect all of his memorabilia and trophies in. But let's be honest, Lamar might need himself an even bigger trophy room for all of the hardware he's going to collect over the years. He might even need a bigger house. In terms of his bathrooms, I'm sure they're built with the idea of sparing no expense and feature the nicest of accommodations, including a sauna. But Lamar, I hope you didn't use the same color palette as rated for this bathroom. That's a little too close to The Shining for me. Alright, now that we've taken a look at this home a little bit, let's see how Lamar has been handling his self-quarantine. He told CNBC, Quarantine keeps me off the field, so I'll be back in the backyard just throwing the ball. Despite still being able to get his necessary practice in, Lamar admits that throwing the ball long distance has been difficult to accomplish given the circumstances and the size of his backyard. Of course, he hasn't been restricting his training only to the physical space. He's also hopped onto Zoom calls from inside of his home to keep up with his workouts by talking to his coaches and trainers. But what helps this 6 foot 2, 212 pound man really relax might surprise you a little bit. He credits his yoga and Pilates training with keeping him mentally tough through these trying times. He told CNBC, Before I was doing it twice a week, I was doing yoga twice a week and Pilates twice a week. It makes life go better. It makes your days better. The workouts relax your muscles and your mind. It lets your mind breathe. Nowadays, Jackson's practicing these workouts in the comfort of his own home with the help of an app. And because technology is so clearly the future, Jackson has recently teamed up with a company called Status Pro to develop a first-person virtual reality game called, and I promise you I'm not making this up, the Lamar Jackson Experience. This new game, which is expected to debut sometime this fall, will give its players the opportunity to play pro football through Jackson's eyes. Lamar has even already tested the game out himself and given it his stamp of approval, saying, I have fun playing it. It's a workout, you sweat. He might be a man of few words, but that's just because his actions speak so loudly. According to reports during the course of the game, players will move, throw, and rush yards just like Jackson would do on the gridiron, all without having to leave the comfort of their own home. Now, as this new football season finally kicks off this week, Lamar will finally find himself out of his home and back onto the field. And I think I speak for a lot of us when I say it's about damn time. Alright guys, I think we're gonna end this house tour here. What did you think of Lamar's home and what are the odds that the inside of his place is better decorated than Ray Lewis's crib was? Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!